Uh, all morning, we have got another Saturday Mash Up Slam Showdown! Mercy is Radio One stars Nat and Vicky. Yeah! All this morning, Radio One's Nat and Vicky have been taking part in the one, the only Saturday Mash Up Slime Show. Yeah! Actually, uh, yes. Now, hello, ladies. Now, Nat, you actually hello. won Jurassic Like, so you've got yourself a so point. Happy. So I'm sure you are. But hey, remember, it's down to the lovely viewers at home. Maybe you persuaded them to keep you dry, or maybe not. They might not care. But is there anything you'd like to say to them? To try and keep yourself dry. So I've got a secret for you. Oh. Before the show, Vicky actually said to me that she loves slime and yes. she wants yes. to be slammed yes. again. Yes. She yes. wants yes. to be slammed yes. again. Yes. She if, loves if it. If there's anything you would like to say, bear in mind you have been slimed before on Saturday Mash Up mm -hmm. Go. I've been slimed before, I've had the pie in my face today. Mm -hmm. It's time oh, for Nat to have a go! And she's a liar! To have your say, head over to the CBC <laughs> website right now. It's up to you, remember, you've got until 10.45 to get involved and you'll need to sign in or register to vote. Well, the time is up because the slime showdown result is in later. Oh. How are you feeling now that you might be getting covered in slime for the first time? I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, excited. I don't know whether I'm scared or happy or, or both. Yeah, or what. There's a lot of emotions going that's on right now. Normal. <laughs> You've had this before. What I'm fine. I'm an old pro at this, so I'm not jail. bothered. All right, baby. Well, all morning, uh, Nat and Vicky have been competing in slime oh. showdown to try and convince you, basically. No, it's me. Don't, you know, keep me dry. Don't slime don't me. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, and I can obviously reveal that Nat won the most games there. You've been brilliant, Nat. But did, did our one viewers <laughs> agree? You know, did you just do your own thing? Mm, well, it all comes down to you in our public vote. Well, let's find out who is being covered <laughs> right now. Ashley, oh! you're in Essex right Love now. It is all. over to you. Oh, who's getting slimed? <laughs> I can reveal that with 75% of the public vote, the star getting slimed today is... <laughs> going to be revealed after an action oh! At this point, we're going to happen right then. Uh, uh, don't go anywhere, you'll find out after this. <laughs> <laughs> facing a slime-filled detention this morning. That is right. So, Ash, Lehman, friend, it is back over to you. Can you reveal the result? I can reveal that with 70% of the public vote, the star getting slime today is... <laughs> Nat! Oh! Nat! Oh! <laughs> Come on, well, Nat, it's time for you. Master slime at his school. I'm Miss Cut Kelvin, your head teacher. And I'm Mr. Tasker, the supply teacher. <laughs> Why? Because I the supply the slime, don't forget. <laughs> the naughty pupil in detention today is Nat. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm very sorry. Silence, son Mary. You'll be sitting your <laughs> The key stage gooey exam. Why? Because every answer you get incorrect, you'll get a bucket of goo in the face. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, supply teacher. Well, the questions are all based on this week's news, so I sure hope you've been paying attention. Yeah. Are you ready? Um, yes. Oh, yes, good. you don't sound too sure of <laughs> yourself. Your 90 second exam starts now. Which character is voiced by Jackie Chan in a new Ninja Turtle movie? Bob. Bob? <laughs> he didn't even try as Splinter or Master Splinter. <laughs> Supply teacher. The UCI Cycling <laughs> World Championships began this week in Glasgow. But how many days does a competition run for? How many days? <laughs> 30. Ooh, incorrect. The answer was 11. <laughs> Oh, you're not holding back. Strictly come dancing, <laughs> pro dancer Deanne Boswell is currently competing in which BBC cooking show? I didn't hear the first bit. <laughs> Slimer! <laughs> the answer was Celebrity Master Chef. Science 
Scientists in the Amazon have been using artificial intelligence to attract the movements of which endangered mammal? <laughs> Elephant. The answer was the pink river dolphin. Oh! oh my god! Right, which addition to the Star Wars franchise premiered this week on Disney Plus? <laughs> which new addition to the Star Wars franchise premiered this week on Disney Plus? Any ideas? Take a guess, any guess. Hello. Star Wars. That was correct! Oh, Star Wars! Yeah. Next question. On this day in 1996, the Beatles simultaneously released the single Eleanor Rigby of which other classic? Oh, the bells for me, not for Slimer. you! Slimer! <laughs> right, Nato Larry. Ruthless. I can reveal. I'm going to say zero, oh, yeah. You didn't get the point. It wasn't the full title, but it doesn't matter. Would you like to upgrade your grade of nothing to a potential grade of something? Yes, please. That's a good answer because it's time for this. Answer the classroom conundrum correctly and you, my dear, will go to the top of the leaderboard with 20 extra points. But if you get it wrong, you will be slimed till home time. Are you ready for your question? Yeah. Your classroom so. conundrum is... BBC Radio 1 aired the first show on... First show on Saturday, the 30th of September, 1967. Including this morning, Nat. How many days ago was that? Oh, I don't know. Easy. Wild guess. Oh, I've forgotten the year already. The big number, 1967. 1967. I can't do maths. Quick maths. 6,000. The answer was 20,390 days to 19. Have you learned anything, Natalie? Pardon? Okie dokie. Well, here's what's coming up next week on Saturday Night Live. Mashup Mob, thank you, Mashup Mob. Yes. And thank you to Sinead Sweet. Thank you, Sinead Sweet. Thank you to our lovely Radio Ones, Vicky Hawksworth. Yeah. And oh yes, that's right. Natalie, you slimy thing. Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> thank well done. you so uh, much. Mashup, of course, will be back next week, 9 a.m. on CBBC and on iPlay. Well, this has been good, hasn't that is it? Fabulous. And do you know what I've enjoyed? The Mashup fan chat, because you at home yes. are absolutely brilliant. Thank you for joining it. And I loved your hair. This Thank is a key you. piece. You yes. should keep it. <laughs> You'll see a different do next week. Coach we'll you then, people. Bye bye. <laughs>weekend me on the other hand now i'm having a fabulous weekend but you might have noticed i'm sounding a little bit hoarse today okay um mark in canuck has pointed it out he said is everything okay now still got guns in your ears yeah i actually do and i have lost my voice a little bit i've had a bit of a busy week i'm not gonna lie guys i was on tv yesterday i was on C cbbc i can't even speak at all can i and i got slimed on national tv basically i mean can you believe it I can't believe, I actually can't believe it happened to me. So for years I've watched CBBC and I've watched like the shows like 50-50, Get Your Own Back, Bring Your, is it Get Your Own Back? Get Your Own Back. And do you know what? I know I moan about it, but I have always actually fancied a bit of a sliming. Do you know what I mean? Like you watch that and you think, oh, I, 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 yeah, I think it'd be quite fun. Let me tell you, it was very, very cold. And um, 
<laughs> yeah, it was it was so much fun. But you know those weird things that you like kind of watch as you're growing up, or just them weird things that you see and you think, do you know what? I want to give that a go. I've got I want to try it once. Do you have any of those? 03700 100 100. What's one thing you've seen that you've always secretly fancied doing? Hello, hello, good morning. It is Nat O'Leary and we're talking about things that you kind of see like growing up through the noughties whenever on TV or in film that you just think you got to do once. Like, so for instance, I was on CBBC Mashup yesterday and Saturday Mashup and I got gunged. And I'm not going to lie, I've looked at that for years and I've thought, yeah, bit of me, that. (laughs) Will I do it again? Absolutely not. Will I want to be gunged again? Absolutely not. But it was so much fun, honestly. And it's just one of them things that I've realised, yeah, I always always watch those shows like 50-50, Get Your Own Back, and thought I really want to be gunged one day. And yesterday I lived my dream. We're talking about things you have seen on movies or in TV or just in life that you've thought, I've got to do that once because I got gunged yesterday and I've always wanted to do it. Will I do it again? Who knows? 